let's take a look what's going on in this cave. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's sort of like a... Uh, like a communal house, I'm, I'm thinking. I wonder if they have a workbench in here, perhaps? Or a trader, maybe? if they have sleeping space then might have other stuff as well mm, that meat looked really good in order on their supplies because I am carrying so much myself. Aha, is this getting to the higher planes? Where are we now? Okay, there's someone's house in here. someone's home. Okay, yeah, I think this gets to the highest places. There hmm. can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. as well. Here's a funny thing I, I have discovered uh, about uh, me and my uh, game's preferences. Uh, when... Oh, I can't... Or I can, maybe, I don't know. Uh, when I uh, when I was little, well, not not that little, but uh, when I was first uh, exposed to the games where you had to move in two uh, D environment, like platformers and uh, the Pac-Man style games, where you had to Basically, you had to translate. Ah, oh, okay. Where you had to translate uh, the uh, 3D movement into 2D uh, game motions. Uh, I totally disliked it. Uh, as in, uh, especially if it was. Um, if I had to uh, take uh, 2D spatial decisions uh, fast, uh, for example, I didn't like uh, playing Tetris uh, for the same reason. But if it's a 3D game, feels good to be doing some actual scouting. Indeed, Chalky, indeed. But uh, when I'm in uh, in a 3D uh, rendered environment like this or, or in Stalker. Uh, then I enjoy all sorts of uh, jumping, climbing, anything. It sort of it doesn't uh, create that sort of mental block that the 2D environment would. Okay, so these white markings. I think we've got ourselves another survival cache here. with a workbench. Oh, I 
was wondering where are the traps. There they are. Like the shadow of a ghost. Where does it lead to? Okay. Yeah, but what does it connect it to? Is it grenades? Shit. I heard it. Salt upon wounds tortured oh, everyone shit. in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. myself some healing poultice. Did I? Oh! I've got quite a bit. No. Okay, I think we can move on. Oh! There was something fishy about that pot. But I did really miss the, miss the mine. Uh, which way first? Okay, let's take left first. Oh yeah, we have got the workbench here. Perfect. <laughs> oh, that's a way out. Is there a trap? under this feels good to be doing some actual scouting not just following oh I can't pick it up okay Ooh. I think I can score some battle brew in this area. First I have to you know, survive the traps.
still don't know what was attached to these other trip wires. I'm guessing it was... I'm guessing it, it was uh, shotguns as well, I just missed them. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Paper squares on a table. I will be coming back here anyway at some point. So. Let's see now. No, thank you. Ooh, batteries. So I know I left the other batteries in the other cave. So. will stay here then. Now what else do I have in here that I shouldn't be carrying around? It doesn't weigh, so it's. I'm guessing it's uh, it's a quest item also. Maybe. Jesus, it's heavy. Well then, let's get to trading. Not much, but better than nothing.
behind here. So heavy. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai. Okay, let's see. Hey, out where you come from, huh? Heavy. Don't want heavy. I want my diapers back. So let me take away your gun and repair well, it. Let's get to trading. Fresh ammo. Well then, let's get to trading. And that ammo as well. So. <laughs> Cool spine.
of this armor seems to indicate this uh, dweller of this cave uh, was in CR Sure, what the trip wire led to. Where are some buried mines here? Catubio, Nayu. So, is, was that some other language or what? I couldn't tell even. Good. Hello. Friendly geckos. It's not for me. I take it. Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Trout.
Yeah, but how do I get all the way to the top? Oh, that's some other cave. Crossroads cavern. Hmm. Whoa, some disco shrooms here. Roads, then it must be between uh, between uh, the different uh, tribal territories. I'm guessing. I'm not gonna waste ammo on coyotes. Gotcha. <laughs> Actually, ever since uh, ever since I got strong enough to be dangerous to the coyotes, I sort of try to stay away from them because it's <laughs> it's hardly a fair fight. And uh, why do you carry all those bottle caps? Anyway? <laughs> they jangle like crazy. Oh, nice ferns again. Ah, oh, so I guess we're at the other side of the mountain now. Dead horse territory? Oh, no, I don't think so. Another cave. Whoa, this is cool. Uh, not even. Okay, maybe just a little. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna take it away. Oladu Sagasi. These are still tribals. That sounded a little bit like Latin, didn't it? Meaning. Meaning uh, Joshua has been teaching them, maybe. Hello? Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omen. You come to receive visions of truth? I like your necklace. Take drugs, kill a bear. <laughs> Seek medicine plan. Return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. These roots made sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? Okay. Let's get groovy. You know, you look incredibly young for someone to be a shaman. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she, lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. Woohoo! Okay, wait. Do I need to go somewhere while I'm still high or what? Talk to me Does again. ghost of she like quiet in grave? <laughs> okay, 
I get it. I need to. Yeah. Sad story. Not for your ears from my lips. Ask midwife. She speak to your ears. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Okay, I think here... Whoa, groovy. Here, I think I'm gonna use a map marker. Whoa. Wait, quests. Somewhere nearby. Oh yeah, it's right here. Ghost den. Caterpillar's mound. Okay, I, I, I think I have an idea where this is. So this is the river and these are the mountains, maybe? Woohoo! Chalk didn't get any uh, the two virtues. Okay, I want to I want to know about the story before. Where's the midwife? Groovy showers. I'm going deeper into the place, I think. Or not, no. Hey. Katubiu. That is a sad story. I do not like to tell it. But if you are asking, it must be at Whitebird's request. That I will honor. Long ago, a girl lived among this tribe. She was a curious child, and a clever one, and her mother had a devil's time watching over her. One day, the child slipped away from camp and went to play in the caves nearby. The girl did not know that a Yaogwai slept in that cave. The girl died. The tribe wept. For the girl had died before her naming day, and her ghost would remain restless and wandering upon the earth. Many hunters tried to kill the beast, but it eluded them, or drove them off. The shaman said that since it had consumed the girl, the two were one. So we call the beast Ghost of She, for the child had no name to be called. That is the story of the Ghost of She. It is a sad story. It is our story. Okay, then. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Uh, so one landmark was the caterpillar mound. right over there so I probably won't even have to pass the caterpillar why do you carry mount. all those bottle caps anyway they jangle like crazy uh, but if the cave is up high in the mountains then I'll have to figure out how to get there before 
before I can, you know, like, get there. So it's... It's up to here, I think I... Okay, yeah, we'll probably have to... Go around here reach the other side. I'm not sure if it uh, if this is uh, strictly strictly related to Datura or some other uh, hallucinogenic hallucinogenic uh, plants. I think some some stories are or uh, about that uh, fungus that uh, LSD is made of uh, is that the first of all the uh, stories of uh, flying witches mm, have the hallucinogenic component in them uh, you see in medieval Europe the uh, stories usually go like this, that uh, the lady who wants to uh, go fly as a witch, she will uh, rub some ointment on her, uh, I, can't rem I, I don't know here, was it uh, onto her genitalia or mouth or just all over, and, uh, and then while her physical body remains uh, Behind, she will finger quote finger quote uh, fly uh, fly off, and uh, usually there there was some convulsions involved and uh, sometimes uh, masturbating with a broomstick Feels or good something. Feels to be doing some actual scouting. Not Shh, I'm talking here, uh, and uh, and that's uh, one. Uh, one uh, sort of use of hallu hallucinogens uh, related to the uh, uh, spir spiritual stuff. And another, uh, even more curious uh, story is about uh, uh, the werewolf, uh, werewolf uh, stories of my area. It's the thing is uh, that over here I, I don't know how old this mythology is, maybe it's medieval, maybe it's older, uh, but the werewolves have nothing to do with infection, uh, but instead it's uh, the conscious choice, well, or a cursed choice, of, uh, of someone to go and run as the wolf. And usually uh, this uh, also involves uh, point one, putting on the skin, a side note, I have just found a cough, I think. Uh, putting on the skin, uh, the wolf skin, and another important component is to rub some uh, special ointment uh, on your body or your lips or something. So uh, there's this, uh, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's kind of a standard ex explanation that there's some hallucinogens uh, involved in the medieval werewolf practice as well. But of course then... Ah, these are goats, not, uh, not the bear. But of course then... Uh, then Hollywood came and, uh, and screwed up the stories. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, these aren't goats. Ah, oh, this is good. How come the Yaogwai aren't... aren't hunting the goats? Oh, 
I might be high, but I'm not invulnerable. Uh oh. I need there to can't really be a place where people go into repaired. big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Let me mention on this. Okay, but I think I have found the right way in now. Mm -hmm. And there she is. I think it's it's her. Get close enough, she will appear. Can I tell you? Uh. Sure. Okay. I'll wait behind. Not like I'm not used oh, to that. Oh, come on. Don't, don't you go all passive aggressive on me. Okay, maybe too close to the. Right behind you. Too close to the goat here. Shoot from the distance if you want. Sure. Okay. I'll wait. <sighs> Do I have some slasher? Nope. Oh, I do have some slasher. Give me extra action points.
alcohol. Let's see now, I could use a little bit more bartering. Let's go over 50 here. With everything else, I would say that. Okay, let's go here. This one over 50 as well, if I can. No. Exactly 50. Everything else is. manual save here. I think I haven't made any in quite a while actually. Uh, chalk. Come here. It's right behind you. You can follow me now. Schools. Sure now. deal with one uh, business at a time. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native to Zion. Wonder where they came from. from another. Um, um, I need to get up there. Pretty please. Almost dead. <coughs> like, right here. I'm right here. Oh. Yeah, sorry dude. This is me not remembering how I got 
hot air before. Oh, okay. I went from over here around this ledge and I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? No, wait, but I couldn't... can't get up to a cave from here either. Fuck. Oh, here's a cave. So, yeah, but did this... lead out? this other cave? Did it? Did it? can't fucking remember. Okay, it did. And... Okay... Um... Wait, was I even here before? Oh fuck. <laughs> so basically, not only am I disoriented as usual, I'm also high while being disoriented, which means I'm like totally disoriented, man. Like, totally. It was on the other side, wasn't it? Wait, wait, what's this here? Damn it! Oh, let me up, let me up, let me up! Person view is blurred. <clears throat> Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan. Uh oh, and nailed their corpses to the cliffs. Okay, here's one cave, which is. I need to go through here first and then I get to the shaman's cavern or what? I am so confused right now. Oh, and now I'm stuck in stone. I'm stoned. Wait, is this the shaman here? No. Is it a good book? Ah, oh, that's the right cave. I don't know how I got here. Does ghost of she like quiet in grave? Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. Gift to remind you of visions. Use well, or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. <laughs> I like how he sort of looks to the distance when he talks to you. Ok, 
Can I hang around? Can we do some more drugs? So, did you, what did you give me? Oh, no wait, it's weapons. I should use them. Although I would say it's a little bit, a little bit too heavy to be using all the time, so I will probably. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. I'll probably uh, leave it into my uh, main stash in the big land, I mean main map. Ryan, I think. I think I should uh, talk to the midwife again. to be you. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. I thought she would have more to say about uh, the whole she situation. But she didn't. Now let's go check out that cough. There Just can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. <laughs> okay, take a little pause here and then on to the cough.